Hi everyone and welcome back to Algebra 1. So today's video is going to be about distributing and combining like terms. So the first thing I'd like to review is combining like terms. Like terms are terms that have the same variables and the same exponents. So for example, the like terms here in this example would be 3x squared and negative 4x squared. And then separately, 4x and 5x. And then separately, negative 7 and positive 10. Now the reason that these are separate categories, the 3x squared and the negative 4x squared, is because although they both have x's, the, the exponent is different. This one has an exponent of 2 and this one does not. When we are combining like terms, we add or subtract the coefficients, but we do not change the variables or the exponents. So if I were to say, hey, in this problem, let's combine the like terms, these two like terms, I would say, well, 3x squared take away 4x squared leaves me with negative 1x squared. These like terms would combine, and I would say 4 copies of x plus 5 copies of x makes 9 copies of x. And I'm putting a plus there because that's a positive 9. And negative 7 plus 10 gives me 3. So this would be my final answer for simplifying that expression. Now when we're distributing, what we're doing is we're simplifying an expression. So we actually did several problems together where we looked at um, distributing kind of by writing it all out the long way. What we're going to do here is to simplify this expression where there's a number outside of a parentheses, we're just going to distribute that number rather than writing it all out. So first I would do negative 4 times 2x. Now negative 4 times 2 makes negative 8x. Then I would do negative 4 times negative 8. Negative 4 times negative 8 makes positive 32. Because a negative times a negative makes a positive. And that would be my final answer. When we are asked to simplify an expression, that means we should do two things. First, we're going to distribute if necessary. And then we're going to combine the like terms. So for example, in this problem, what we would do is start by distributing the 7. Now some students make an error here where they start by combining the negative 4 and the 7. That's not allowed because according to order of operations, we have to distribute first. So I'm just going to copy down the negative 4. When I distribute the 7, I would do 7 times 1, which gives me 7. And then I would do 7 times negative 3m, which me gives me negative 21m. Now I'm going to look to see if there are any like terms here. So the like terms that I see are the negative 4 and the positive 7. When I combine those, they make positive 3. And then I'm just going to copy down the minus 21m without changing anything. And that would be my final answer. In the next problem, again, a lot of students make a mistake here because they try to add these together first. However, according to order of operations, what we're going to do here is just copy down the negative 5n, and we're actually going to start by distributing. 3n times 6 would be 18n, 
and 3n times 7n would be 21n squared because we just multiplied n times another n. Now we're going to look for some like terms. Now I'm seeing that the negative 5n and the 18n would be like terms because they both have an n and they would not be combined with the 21n squared because that has an n squared, which is a different thing. So negative 5 plus 18 would be 13n, and then I would just copy down the 21n squared and don't change anything. And this would be my final answer. If we want to look at a few more examples, so on the next page, problem number 3, once again, we're going to need to start by distributing, but some students make a mistake here because they don't see the number they should distribute. Whenever you see a minus like this without a number next to it, that means that there's an invisible 1 there. Once I fill that in, it's easier to see that for this problem, I should copy down the negative 2n, and then I'm going to distribute negative 1 times 9 would be negative 9, and negative 1 times negative 10n would be positive 10n because a negative times another negative makes a positive. Now I'm going to look for some like terms. In this expression, I'm seeing that the negative 2n and the positive 10n would be like terms, and those are going to combine to make positive 8n. Then I'm just going to copy down the negative 9 without changing it, and that would be my final answer. In the next expression, I'm actually going to need to distribute twice. So first I would distribute the negative 9 to the 6m, and I would get negative 54m. Then I would distribute the negative 9 to the negative 3, and I would get positive 27. Oop, I wrote a 4 and I meant a 7. There we go. Next, I would distribute the 6 to the 1, and I would get positive 6. And finally, I would distribute the 6 to the 4m, and I would get 24m. Now I'm going to look for some like terms. So right away I notice the negative 54m and the positive 24m would be like terms. Negative 54 plus 24 would be negative 30m. Then I also notice that the 27 and the 6 would be like terms. 27 plus 6 would be positive 33. And this would be my final answer. For problem number five, and this is the last problem that we will do together. We'll try number six together in class tomorrow. For problem number five, we would start by distributing. Now we're going to have to distribute twice here. So four times n would be 4n. And four times nine would be positive 36. Negative 3 times 2 would be negative 6. And negative 3 times n would be negative 3n. Then I would look for some like terms. Now right away I notice that the 4n and the negative 3n are like terms. So 4n take away 3n would be 1n. Then I also notice that 36 minus 6 would give me 30. So that would be my final answer. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for some practice. Have a great night.